Hey, what's up guys? This is Marcus. Some of you know me as Scruffy Pillows. Now, today I had for you an unboxing video. And I was going to show off the Selector Infected Wee Cross Blue Application Trial Deck. Now, the problem with this video is that halfway through, my camera decides to die. And before, it told me that it was at 3 fourths battery life. So, a message to my camera, you lying bastard. So, since I can't show you the, uh, the full unboxing video or the true unboxing video, I'm going to give you kind of like a, a little synopsis of what the deck has. And I go ahead and pre-apologize if you can hear my fan in the background. My AC unit is out, so I'm currently having to keep myself cool while trying to do this video. So I apologize. Now, a little bit on Selector Infected Wee Cross before we get started. It's a Bai Shoujo anime card game that's put out by Takara Tomi, which you guys know for other games such as Beyblade and other card games such as Duel Masters and the Pokemon TCG. So, I mean, it's a pretty big brand name, and as you can see, Pokemon's over in America, Duel Masters has been over in America before, so I'm really looking forward to this hitting over in America, and the anime is absolutely fantastic. If you get the option or the chance to watch it, please do. It's Selector Infected Wee Cross. I will link where I watch it down in the description box below, and you can go check it out there or on your traditional anime viewing website, whichever one you use. So, you're going to hear me make a lot of references to other card games such as Buddy Fight, Duel Masters, um, Card Fight Vanguard, and Weiss Horse in here. So, if you don't understand anything, feel free to comment down below, ask any questions. Matt, Tony, or myself will be glad to answer them for you. So, this is the blue application deck used by the character Akira in Selector Infected Wee Cross. And this is her L rig, or kind of like her avatar for the deck, uh, Peter Duke. Now, I am sorry if I butchered that name for you. I am American and I am Southern. So, if you can look past that, I think I said it pretty okay. What do you guys think? <laughs> so, on every L rig, you have a level and a subsequent size limit. Now, all of the Signy in your deck, or the monsters that you use to attack, will have a size indicated, well, not there. <laughs> Sorry, that was a spell card. Indicated here in the top left-hand corner. So, just so long as the number down at the bottom, all of your Signy that you have on the field, as long as their levels do not exceed that second number, then you're okay. And obviously similar to Vanguard, your Signy cannot go over the level of your Elric. So you can't play a level 2 Signy at level 1 Elric. Come on guys, get with the program. Now, every turn you're given the option to grow or level up your Elric. And as you can see, the level on that will increase as will the size limit. So you have level 1 with a size limit of 2, 2 with a size of 5, 3 with a size of 8, and the max number thus far, 4 with a size of 11. Also within the L-Rig deck, you have what are known as arts. Now these arts are kind of like game changing cards, and you'll use these to kind of change the, the tide of battle in your favor. So. Going off of the ones that are in this deck, we have Don't Move, which is essentially, it's kind of like a less dangerous version of Lock from Vanguard. You rest two of your opponent's Signy, and they can't do anything, and they don't stand until the end of your next turn. So, now, granted, they can replace them, so it's kind of like Lock and Mega Colony fused together, if you can think about it that way. Um, they can replace them, so this card is probably better played on like the beginning of your turn, so that way your opponent can't do anything like attack you next turn, unless they replace it. So they risk losing hand advantage, or risk not being able to do as much damage. The next art is Draw 2. It's self-explanatory. Draw 2 cards. The Pot of Greed of Selector Infected Wee Cross. 
and one of the more known cards for Akira in the anime, Peeping Analyze. Now, this card allows you to select a level from your opponent's hand, and every signy of that level, they have to discard. Now, this is a double-edged sword, obviously, because if you don't know what levels they have in their hand, it could do nothing. But, they kind of make up for that because there are some blue cards, I think, that come out in the first booster, uh, that allow you to look at your opponent's hand for that one move, and if you play this in unison with it, then it makes this less of a cost and more of a, a stipulation, and you can go ahead and browbeat your opponent for for that much more and kind of get a, a upper hand on their uh, on their lack of hand an upper hand on their lack of hand puns all around now in the L rig deck you can have only 10 cards up to 10 uh, I would recommend running the full five card level up chain from zero all the way to four and the uh, three arts and you can add five more or uh, two more arts for a total of five and for a maximum total of ten cards in your L rate deck so that would be my recommendation now a thing that I need to let you guys know and I've seen it a lot um if you do not put 50 cards in this deck so for example you have 10 cards in your L rate deck you have your full five card L rig level up and you decide to keep three art cards in here and don't put in the other two that does not mean that you can add two more cards to your main deck your main deck is 40 cards no more no less 40 in this deck you can have up to 10 no more I have seen a lot of people build decks with 15 card Elrig decks and a 35 card battle deck or a, a main deck and you have to go in and you have to correct them so you hear it now 10 cards up to no more in your Elrig deck and a maximum of 40 no more no less in your main deck if you guys already knew that I'm sorry for my little rant but it, I just had to get it out there. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, now, in the deck, we have four copies of Code Art RFR. This is your standard draw one, drop one. It's got 1k power and so on and so forth. You have a 3k vanilla of Code Art SC. I kind of wish it was SP. Not the rarity, but just the name. Because then it would be Code Art Scruffy Pillows. And who doesn't want that? I know I do. Now, this card is interesting because if your opponent attacks your L rig with their L rig, you can use this card to block it. You cannot use this to block a Signy attack on a Signy, or you cannot use it to block a Signy attack on your L rig. Only if your opponent attacks your L rig with their own then you can use this card, discard it, and it nullifies the attack. <clears throat> a lot of people will try and use that for, you know, just standard attacks, and it doesn't work like that, guys. You have a level 2 7k vanilla of Code Art JV. You have a level 2 version of the Guardian card for level 1. You have, for level 3, Code Art SMP. Now, on this card, uh, and you've seen it probably on an, a bunch of the other cards that have been down here, this little symbol right here is a Life Burst symbol. Similar to Shield Triggers in Duel Masters, if these are in your Life Cloth, which are the cards that you'll take damage from, and it gets hit, you apply the Life Burst ability, and then after that, it gets placed into your Inner Zone, which is kind of like your gauge in Buddy Fight. It'll be used to pay for play cost or ability cost, so on and so forth. Now, the Life Burst ability is interesting, and you can only have up to 20 cards with Life Burst in the deck. You can have less than that, 
but you can only have a maximum of 20. So, again, that's one of the stipulations of the game, and I'm just throwing that out there. You also have a level 3 vanilla of 10k called Code Art DRS. And the ultimate level in the deck, which is level 4, and this is Code Art RMN. It also has a life burst ability, and I believe its effect is that you can discard one card from your opponent's hand at random. Now, also within the decks, you have spell cards. So, the deck isn't just made up of Signy, like in Vanguard, where they're only made up of units that can attack. You have four copies of the standard draw card. It's kind of like Upstart Goblin and Yu-Gi-Oh, just minus the decrease in power or life points or whatever. Um, you play it, you draw one card. That's it. It's just standard draw. And last but not least, you have four deck specific spells and for the blue deck it is the blue spell known as Too Bad. And why is it Too Bad? Because your opponent has to discard a card at random. And that sucks. That is too bad. So, that's generally the deck. I mean, it's it's pretty simple. Takara has five decks out now. A blue, a red, a white, a green, and a black deck. In which you can find all on eBay. That is where I bought this deck because I know you guys are going to ask. So, <clears throat> I will link it down in the description below so you guys can go check it out. And if you're wanting a battle tutorial on how to play this game, go check out Team uh, or Plus Two Soul TCG. And I'll link them in the description below. So there's a few links you'll find down in the description below. And uh, go check out their video. Show them some love and just tell them that Team Divine Pro sent you. They do a really, really good job of explaining a lot of things. And also they have a lot of content on their channel as well. So... You know, and in terms of the anime and in terms of the card game, what do you guys think? How do you like the trial decks? Have you bought any? What do you think of the anime? Is it good? Is it bad? Do you guys enjoy it? Do you hate it? Let us know down in the comments below. Tell us what you think. And if you guys have any questions, just ask us. We are all nice guys. We don't bite much. Ladies. Uh, and... So, if you guys have any questions, just ask us. We'll, we'll get to you as soon as possible. Um, for our other subscribers that watch for our other content, I'm sorry. Again, it just takes us a little while to put out some stuff. And we still plan on putting out 99.999% of the videos that we've said we would. So, I still plan on putting out some Vanguard battles. Probably now some We Cross battles. And a lot of you requested the Nisekoi Mock Trial Deck Battle video. That's a mouthful. That's what she said. Uh, and we still plan on doing that. It just takes time. Tony's got his thing. Matt's got his thing to do. I've got my thing to do. So it's just kind of difficult for us to match up and meet up and get this stuff done. But we do plan on getting it out there. So... You know, this is Marcus from Team Divine Pro, a.k.a. Scruffy Pillows. I want to say thanks to all of our subscribers. And if you're new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe to this channel. Share this video with your mom, your friends, your brother, your dog, whoever is willing to watch. It really pushes us to make more videos, and it shows that we're doing a good enough job and that you guys enjoy what we do. Uh... I think that's about it. If you guys want to know any more on Selected Infected We Cross, uh, I can provide you a link to the Wikipedia. You can search it up, you know, on Google or whatever. And also, you can look at the Takara Tomi Japanese page for We Cross. So just go look down in the description for links, and we'll catch you guys later. Thanks again for joining us. Have a good day. Later.